here in part B, they're telling us that we have a double zero at x equals negative two. All that means is that negative two is both r and s because it's going to be a zero twice. So in, in intercept form, f of x equals a times x minus negative 2, which is plus 2. And we're going to do that again because it's a double 0. Now I can use this x and f of x to help me solve for a. 10 equals a times 3 plus 2 for both of these are going to be 5. So 10 equals 25a. a equals 10 over 25, which is 2 fifths. So now we know f of x is 2 fifths, x plus 2, x plus 2. To put it into standard form, I need to FOIL those two binomials x plus, oh I'm sorry, x squared plus 4x plus 4. And then when I distribute 2 fifths, f of x equals 2 fifths x squared plus 8 fifths x plus 8 fifths. So now that went from intercept form to standard form.